Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to change the joystick which is installed by default onto your Steam Deck to this Hall Effect based more advanced joystick from Gully Kit. As you know, the normal joystick which is installed onto your Steam Deck is a potentiometer based joystick which is subjected to a drift over long term uses. This is because of the resistors which are installed inside this joystick which gets damaged over the time during the use of this handheld so i'm going to install another joystick which is more advanced technology which is electromagnetic or hall sensor based joystick which works on the principle of change in electromagnetic field rather than resistors so it does not have a contact part which will get wear and tear it will never have a problem of drift this is the joystick module which i have purchased from amazon i will put the link of this joystick into the description below for you guys to check it out so that guys you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that i have to share before we move further guys if you're new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos let's get started so guys before starting with the installation first thing you need to do is shut down your steam deck properly to do that you need to hit the power button onto the top right corner to power this on just in case you are using it already then hit the steam button onto the left scroll all the way down where it says power and hit a and then you have an option to shut down click on a again and it will ask you to confirm just confirm it so as you can see it is shutting down Please wait until your Steam Deck is fully shut down. So as you can see, my Steam Deck is now shut down properly. Next thing you need to do is to remove the SD card, if any, if you have already installed. I have a 512 GB SSD installed onto the back. I will remove it. Now, next thing that you need to do is turn this all the way to the back. Here you have eight screws that you need to open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This will help you to take out the back cover. That is the first step that you need to do. Let's using the Phillips screwdriver, quickly remove the screws. The outside screws are a little longer than the central screws. So ensure that you keep them separately. So once your screws are all removed, next thing that you need to do is using any plastic card that you have spare into your house, you can start opening the steam deck from the sides. You can start opening where the trigger is. So you just insert it and place it all to the sides and it will click open your back like this. Once you have back cover removed, you need to remove few more screws. So guys, to install the trigger, first you need to remove the triggers which are installed from before. So here you can see you have the right trigger and the left trigger. The same way it is marked onto your new triggers as well. So firstly, we will remove this. To remove this, first you need to open the screws. There are three screws which are holding this together and there is one flex cable which is connected onto this triggers. So let's quickly remove that. So to remove the trigger, there is a black notch onto the top that you need to flip it up. I will be using the screwdriver to flip this up or you can use the nails to flip it up gently. So like this, as you can see, it is moved up and then you have this plastic that you can use to pull this out from the slot. As you can see, it is disconnected. The blue side has to be up always. And now you can open the screws quickly. As you can see, the trigger has come out successfully. We'll keep this aside. Let's do it the same way on the other side and come back. As you can see now, I have successfully removed both the triggers from the steam deck. Now let's keep the steam deck aside and let's pre prepare the new triggers to be installed onto your steam deck. Let's open the new triggers. So this is the box in which your Gullicket hall based sensor triggers are being shipped. Let's quickly open this. As you can see, similarly, like before, you have L and R marked so that you can install it to its correct place. So 
So as you can see, these are hall based sensors. So it has a magnet onto the bottom, which changes the magnetic flux, which is picked up by left and right sensors, which in turn is converted into the movement signal. So that is why guys, this does not have any moving frictional part or resistors. So it will be free from the drift. So which is why guys, you need to have this advanced sensors onto your Steam Deck so that you do not have the drift problem. Now, before we can install this trigger onto your Steam Deck, we need to prepare this. As you can see onto the original trigger, there is a touchpad onto the top whose signal is being connected onto the side. Let me show you from the close-up. So as you can see, this is the wire which is being installed. This is the same wire you need to install onto your trigger. There is a huge pad which is there onto your new triggers as well. So that is what you need to connect before you can start installing. So let's quickly do that. So we'll desolder the wire from the right trigger first. Before we do that, you need to remove the cap. So just pull it outside, it will come out so that you have space to work on and then quickly desolder this. You just need to heat the pad and pull the wire so you can do it together. So I'll remove this trigger and remove this by heating the pad. So just heat the pad and pull the wire so it will come out. So as you can see, this is the right pad that I have marked with R. So I will use the right pad as well. Here, I will tin the port first here before we can solder. And then we will solder the wire exactly as it was before. As you can see, my soldering is done perfectly now next thing we need to do is put the cap back we'll do the same way and install the pad so here you can see my wire is installed same as before let's do it quickly for the left side trigger as well the same way first thing we need to pull out the trigger keep it aside heat the solder pad and pull out the wire and then the same way, first we need to tin the port. And then install the wire. As you can see, the installation is complete. The soldering is complete. And now we'll install the trigger the same way. As you can see, both my triggers, left and right, are correctly installed. These are my old ones and these are the new ones. So now let's quickly install these triggers back onto the Steam Deck. So let's install the right one before. So let's push the trigger in, pull out the wire so that it is above this one. So your holes will align automatically. Let's put back the screws before we can install the wire. As you can see, my right trigger is in place. Now install the wire. The same way you need to flip the, you need to flip this black thing up. You can use a tweezer to flip it up. Once it is up, you need to push the wire all the way inside just push it gently so that it reaches and whenever you close the flip the white line should be aligned onto this black flip so that is how you know that you have installed it correctly now let's do the same process uh, onto the left side let's install the trigger keep the wire up push the trigger inside you have to lift your deck up so that your trigger points can float outside once it is in place let's put in the screws mm -hmm. 
as you can see the triggers are on its place let's install the wire flip up the black lock switch and then insert the wire once it is properly installed flip back the black cover and you have your trigger installed on both sides so guys as you can see my triggers are properly installed from left and right also in my previous videos guys i have already told you how to install the 2tb ssd onto your steam deck if you have not seen that video guys i will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out so this completes the installation so whenever you power this up all you need to do is to press this small calibration button so as to calibrate your newly installed triggers so that your dead zone stay in place i will show you guys that in a minute as well so to calibrate first you need to do is to power this up using the power button let the back side be open don't worry you don't need to touch this plate as this is going to be real hot because the processor is behind this one so just be careful and boot the steam deck i will reverse it once it is powered up you need to click on steam and then go to settings then go back to controllers here you have advanced calibration and settings this is where you need to be click on a this is the left joystick that we need to test so what we need to do is first hit y it is not centered as of now so what, what we need to do it is the left joystick so we need to hit the reset button onto the back onto the left joystick so here you can see the small button that you have here you need to press it once to calibrate and execute it it's going to reset now we are going to do y you can see the joystick is at center position so you can see it is more or less centered you can move and see the joystick is working it's not that any of the position that i am moving is either on the boundary or outside the boundary that is how you want it to be and whenever you leave it your joystick should be between the dead zone that you have on the center so that is how you need to calibrate your joystick so this is the same procedure that you need to follow onto the right joystick so ensure that guys you follow the instruction as i have explained to you so this is it guys this is how you install the new joystick onto your steam deck i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you're new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies